Okay, let's do a simple, quick stall to press tutorial. So if you have a press handstand and you have a straddle L sit on the floor, so this position, you can link both together into that stall to press to handstand. So obviously we need to work those individually. We can break it down into lots of different ways. We need to have that strong straddle L sit position. So grab yourselves a box, start in this position on the edge of something like this, bend the knees. Make sure you can do that. Once you can do that, start to straighten the legs. You'll notice my voice goes funny. So I've still got some work to do in that straddle else position, but I've got enough to get through into the stalder. Once we've got to that, do exactly the same, but on the edge of the box in a normal handstand position with the hand. So normal handstand there. And then I'm just gonna step into my straddle L. Get nice and comfortable with that. So start from this standing position, like the start of your press handstand, feet go off the outside. And back again. The beauty of being on the box is my feet can go slightly below my hands. Then I can build up to eccentrics. So coming down from your press handstand, you can either kick to handstand or press to handstand. Then from your handstand position, passing through your straddle, mind the pull up bar, and then coming down through to your straddle L. Again, if you struggle with that, stick with that other one where you start in the standing position and come through to it, but then practice the handstand down to that position before you go into it. Then we can practice the coming back up. So being in your straddle L sit position, push up, just try and get back onto the box. Once you can get back onto the box, instead of kneeling on the box, see if you can do it to standing. And then the other two exercises that I use a lot are partial range, so coming down and touching a target. So you just have a target on the floor, so you start with them like that, side the hands, start on your handstand, coming down, try and find the target, and then go back up again. And then you just slowly move the target further and further through, so it's measurable, because you can measure the distance from your fingers to the block until you can get all the way through and back up again. Now, if you are a little bit stronger and you have a planche, so like a tuck planche, planche presses will definitely help you because the hip has to come down a long way in the stool to press and it's exactly the same in the planche where we have hip more and less in line with the shoulder. And now if I try and press from there, that's very different than your normal standard press because your normal standard press, the hip is very high. With the planche press, the hip is very low, so there's a lot more strength, it needs to planche a little bit more, but you can get away with that in the stool to press as long as your feet don't drag the floor. If your feet drag the floor, you need to raise your hands up. You'll get a stool to press, but it'll be like a muscled one. It won't be a flexibility stool to press. And then ideally work both the strength and the flexibility so you can then do it from the floor. Now I'm more prone to doing the strength one, so you'll notice that my heels will still drag a little bit on the floor but I can come up from that and then I can get back. But again, I'm gonna have a little bit of contact with the floor, but I get a stall to press. It's just a little bit more muscled. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.